Welcome back to Dueling Central. I'm your host, D Free, and we're going to go ahead and play some more Yu Gi Oh! Dueling. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, of course, because we do this all the time. And that being said, we're going to go ahead and actually duel the Bakura event. I, I haven't actually done a video on this iteration of the Bakura event. Um, mainly, like I said, I, I put up a video yesterday. This is how far I am now. I, I've been kind of really sparingly playing. I'm gonna probably pick up it, uh, pick up the pace a bit to kind of finish this off, but mainly because in a video I said yesterday, I said, "Hey, I haven't liked any of the decks that I've personally built because I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Like I, I don't want to duel and have a deck that wins maybe 30, 40 percent of the time because his his deck is it's just weird. So either way." Um, we're going to duel against level 30. Mask Scarin, another Duel Links YouTuber, actually produced the deck that I actually really like. It features three Divine Knight Isharks, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. And uh, here it is. So this is basically the deck variant. You can sub out a couple of cards. The Sasuke Samurai and the Magic Jammer are only there because they're prismatic. Everything else, I guess, would kind of be requisite. The Ishazar cards come from the Super Joey event, which is not live currently, unfortunately. But this is the deck list, and you do have the Master of Oz down there. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and do a duel here. Now, this deck is optimized against level 30 Bakura. I'm going to show you one, maybe two duels. And like I said, check out Mask Scarin. I will link him down below if I forget. Go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I'll fix that for you. And check back later, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, Spirit Reborn versus Bakura. These are his drop rewards. Um, let us I don't really know what all I have. Yeah, so I, I need a couple more White Magical Hats. I don't really know if that card's viable in the meta. He could be. I want a couple more Trance Archfiends because I only have one. I don't really too much care about Puppet Master. And I would like a third Archfiend Empress, which I think you get from the event anyway by getting a certain number of points. So... Uh, the problem with dueling level 30 is I don't know if level 50 responds to level 30. Like, level 50 pops up in Duel World for me every time I beat level 40 or every, like, three or four times I beat level 40 or whatever the case is. Um, but I, I don't really think he comes when you beat level 30, so that's one thing. And then the point multiplier you get from level 30 is nowhere near as significant. And he will always take your strongest monster in your hand with exchange. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take his doll, whatever. And that's why you want two big koalas, because he'll just grab your big koala every time, and then he basically messes up your fusion. All right, so Ishzark is here. Um, you basically want to make sure that you attack every time. Um, and the Blazing and Patches, you don't have to have Blazing and Patches. You can replace it for another monster, uh, another beater-type monster, a powerful monster. But the problem with it is if you don't run Blazing and Patches, you can't get over the... The Fiend of, of Fled Dreams, I believe its name is. The 1800 Fiend Monster, defensive uh, 1800 monster. So, Ishzark is really good because he stops Necrofear. He basically shuts ne that monster right there. <laughs> he shuts Necrofear down because um, monsters are removed from play. So, Necrofear is in the graveyard, or wouldn't be, would be in the graveyard uh, if you were dueling against level 40. But he runs level 30, runs it in his deck. And then he can go ahead and remove from play cards in his graveyard and then special summon Necrofear. The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, that card. So 1800 defense. God forbid you have Power of Dark on the field. It would be a 2000 defensive monster. All right, so I have Last Gamble. I mean, you don't really need any abilities. So Last Gamble is just kind of here, to be honest. I mean, I'm not going to attack him directly either. I'm just going to wait for him to play a monster. And I'm going to immediately destroy it. So you can go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. Um... Oh, the Hunter's pretty good. I'm going to attribute his doll. All right, so he has two monsters in the grave. I'm just going to make sure I literally remove everything from play from here. But either way, even if he brings out Necrofear, Necrofear can't get over Eshzark. So that's not that big of a deal, I guess. I'm going to end my turn. I don't want to really hit him anymore because he's already at that 3,000 threshold, and I don't want to let him get too far below that. Uh, Crystal Seer is there to make sure that some of your combo cards are not on the bottom of your deck. That's pretty much the only reason why. Don't really need Mirror Wall, but I'll set it anyway. I'm not doing anything. Gravel Stone, he's going to send it back to my hand, which doesn't bother me. He's going to eventually play Ectoplasma. Um, another Ishthark. I low-key want to get my Koala here. There it is. Okay, I'm going to summon the Koala. And it's glossy, so I'll get a glossy bonus. 
and lets me get my Crystal Seer Glossy bonus, because I'm pretty sure just if they flip effect and they get destroyed, you don't get the Glossy bonus. Uh, so that's one thing. I'm not going direct for on him because, like I said, I want to wait until my deck is thinned out to zero cards, basically. Because that allows you to get the most bonus points. You get that uh, cards on the brink. Uh, all right. So there's that. Or whatever it's called. I think it's life points on the brink. Or a few cards left. Whatever the number is. You get more points for the lower your deck size. Or the name is. Excuse me. A lot of little, tiny little errors in this video. God. Um, all right, so I like the high relief card because it lets me hold more cards in my hand. It's glossy, and it's a way to nuke my life points a little bit because you get that comeback victory reward if you're below him in life points. Unfortunately, we both have the same number of life points, so that's not a good thing for me. Uh, so I've got to make sure that I kind of start attacking him, actually. You basically want to attack every turn. Fine, it doesn't really matter which one of them I attack, bro. Since he has two monsters in the grave, I don't want to. There it is. All right. So he, I let, I messed up and let him get Necrofear out. Ectoplasma. Okay. He's gonna Ectoplasma the Necrofear. Fine. That's actually very good for me. The problem with the Ectoplasma is it's gonna mess me up. Hmm. I'm gonna play the Samurai and then just let it be Ectoplasma food. Okay. I have Polly. I could play Polly. Um, I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna do this. I'm very happy he he literally did that to his Necrofear. That was the best case scenario. And the reason why I did it to the Samurai is because that keeps him above me in life points. Unfortunately, I didn't gamble, so I can't get that life points super low bonus or whatever it's called. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Polly here. And I will summon uh, the Hunter. And I'm going to let it get Ectoplasma away. And I, you know, you could l last gamble, but you don't want to do that. <laughs> because for one, you weren't done with the duel, which now I'll be done with the duel. But secondly, because um, if he, like, what I mean is like, it's the end of the duel. You're down to 100, you end your turn. He's going to Ectoplasma away anything and he wins. But secondly, because you're so low on deck, and it will actually deck you out if you roll a number higher than what you actually have. So if you have like five cards left, you roll a six, you lose. Um, so you don't want to last gamble traditionally when you get below six cards. So I was going to accidentally switch to the battle phase. Girl, that's not what you want to do. I'm going to go for the Gift of the Martyr, send off Master Koala, give it to the Piranha Army. Piranha Army is also glossy. Since Piranha Army's effect is it does double damage basically the battle damage this card inflicts by attacking your opponent's life points directly is doubled um basically i'm going to win here i never got a chance to activate a trap unfortunately so that is one minor bonus i'm not going to get i will have him to get over that thing remove it from play that's fine and then he has nothing to protect himself so ten thousand, which is what you want because you get over that nine 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 damage which is the threshold that you want and you don't have to use joey you don't have to use last gamble it works with anybody um, you can use any any event or actually any character it doesn't require an ability. So this is gonna be over seven thousand, not eight thousand though. You can get over eight, but I didn't get that eight. No Dragon Ball meme for me. So yeah, that's traditionally what it's gonna do you. It, it's gonna do. Oh, he is here. He did respond to that. Ah, Zork is here. I don't think it works against level fifty. Um, and I kind of don't want to try because I don't want to waste my chance at level 50. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and uh, use it against level 50. All right, so Zork. I was going to say, like, because what I traditionally do against Zork is I just, or even if I duel level 40, I just bring, like, a, a good dual world farming deck that features fusions and rituals, glossies and prismatics. A, a deck that's cohesive featuring those type of things can still get you at least 4,000 points. Without you really even doing anything, you can kind of just auto duel and it would do that. Duel. So the Necrofear's in the graveyard. Yeah, that's why this doesn't work super well, because this deck doesn't have a way to stop that Necrofear Destiny board. Okay, and then of course Zork can pop out at any moment. Yeah, it doesn't work against a little 50. The deck is too good. He already has two fiends in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, the deck is too good. But. 
I can make his life a little hard here. I can do that. I'm gonna summon my Sasuke Samurai or Sasuke, whatever the word is. And he'll directly destroy that without inflicting any damage. That's fine. Oh, he gets a Sangan. He has Necrofear in his hand, which, by the way, is, is kind of, like, bad for me. But I do have the Mirror Wall to hide behind, so I'm not super worried about it. I just have to literally win ASAP. He didn't bring out Necrofear. I mean, that's going to destroy us both. Do I want to... No, I'm not. I'm not going to pop my Mirror Wall yet. I'll save it. Because, like I said, I know what he has. Oh, Ishizuku. I'm going to gamble, baby. I'm going to do it. They said I shouldn't have done it, but I'm going to do it. Um, Let's see if I can get my poly. Oh, a one. Oh, that's sweet. I was going to say, let me see if I can get my poly and all my, my requisites for that. And maybe win. Yeah, no. It's not a thing. All right. He has Sphere Karibo in this deck, too. Which is such an ass move. Giving this man Sphere Karibo. Uh, looks like I win, though. I do. Okay. Yes! I beat him! <laughs> and uh, I won't get the comeback victory, but I think I'll get life points on the brink. Yeah, no comeback. Yeah, life points on the brink is what it was called. So I've still only got 3,200. Not super good against level 50. But at least I won. That's all that really matters. Uh, Dark Zork has been annihilated. Yeah. Thanks for the points, bro. Times 20 multiplier. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Like I said, Mask Scarin created the deck. So huge shout out to him. If you're not following him or subscribed to him and you're from my channel, I want you guys to click on his latest video and say, hey, uh, Duel Links Central sent me and uh, <laughs> basically sub to his channel for more Duel Links content. So have an awesome day and I'll catch you guys later on. Peace out.